the concern was was that we were going to have mass casualties with thousands of people dying and that the hospital was going to be overrun. And it was immediately obvious that we were not protected, we didn't have enough PPE. And so there was a, there was a lot of fear that actually we were all going to get really sick. And then in the second week of March, that's exactly what happened. You know, we lost a third of our team in a week. I was sat there at the beginning of the COVID pandemic and I counted 29 people in a close proximity in a single trauma call. And I was thinking, well, if this is how we're going to run the next the next um, uh, few weeks, a lot of people are going to get sick and we have to change this really dramatically. The simple concept was, look, we're going to create completely virtual wall rounds. Rather than sending four people, we're going to send one doctor in. We very quickly started working with the headsets to identify some use cases. So when you place the headset on your head, uh, what the user will see is a virtual screen or a mixed reality screen, which they can position into any real space in the room that they're standing in. And on that screen at the moment will be the face of one of their colleagues who will be uh, interacting with that user uh, through a webcam based on a desktop. We can call other experts that we might want to call into that clinical scenario. And we can also pull up images and content. So we can look at electronic healthcare record data or x-rays or images. And what it means is, is that you have all the information, all the specialist care that you need at the patient's bedside there and then. And it's all in one, in one headset. When this crisis hit, it became apparent that the NHS had to work in a different way and through really high level strategic kind of digital infrastructure projects, Teams was just nationally adopted by the NHS. Teams really is now, I would say, an essential tool. We could not run our organisation pretty much without it. The fact that their staff are safe, their ward rounds are really efficient and that they can communicate more effectively with their staff. COVID-19 will change everything forever in terms of the way we work and how we work. In terms of mixed reality, HoloLens 2 really is the only viable product that we have in the space. And I can see a point where these sorts of tools will be the norm where you will go on a ward round or you go into a clinic or you will go into an environment that might be high risk, that might be challenging, or where you might need specific capabilities of these sorts of technologies. And it will be there and you'll just use it and it won't be a novelty. What I'm absolutely convinced of is that we are just at the very beginning of a very long and exciting journey. And I think what's been very important about COVID is actually it's just given us a real shot in the arm and a huge step change in our perception of these technologies and what value they might bring.